I'm going to show you how to configure Eclipse to work with Tomcat. So I assume here that you have already installed Eclipse and Tomcat on your computer. So the method I'm going to show you works on any platform. It's going to be the same method on Windows, Mac, or Linux. So the first thing to do is to make sure that nothing is running. By nothing, I mean there is no web server. So first I'm going to check that Apache is not running. And I'm going to check that Tom Tomcat is not running by default on 8080. If you have something running, you should shut it down. Uh, then I start Eclipse. And this is a screen that you get when it's the first time you are uh, running Eclipse. So here we're going to click on Workbench. The first thing we're going to do is to configure uh, Tomcat in Eclipse. So here in the bottom pane, we see server. Okay, We do new server. And here we're going to choose Apache Tomcat 7. Next. Here I need to say where Tomcat is installed. So I'm gonna I'm gonna choose my so this is where I've installed Apache Tomcat. Pen. Uh, the GRE should be the workbench default GRE. Finish. And here I see that I have a Tomcat server running on localhost. Uh, so, so far the server is stopped, so I can start the server. And now it's telling me that the server is running and it's synchronized. So if I go back to the browser now, on localhost, I have this page. Uh, this is not an error, actually. This is showing that Apache Tomcat is running. However, it cannot find the home page. Why? This is because when you run Apache in Eclipse, by default, it runs in a separate directory. It runs in your workspace. A way to fix this is to tell Eclipse to work directly with your local instance of Tomcat. So we're going to double click on the server and we will see a configuration file here. So instead of use workspace metadata, what we're going to do is to click use Tomcat installation. It takes control of Tomcat installation. We close. Yes, we want to save it. Now we want to restart the server. And now, as you can see, Apache found the uh, Tomcat uh, home page. All right, so we have um, Tomcat working with, with Eclipse. So now we are going to write our first uh, servlet. So here we are going to say new project. And we're going to choose dynamic web project. Uh, we're going to call this project my first uh, the settings, you should keep the one by default. Finish. First, we click on My First App, and then right-click, New, Servlet. So here we're going to create our uh, Hello World example. So Java package, we're going to call it Hello World. And class name, we're going to give the same name. and then finish. So Eclipse here is uh, creating a skeleton of the servlet. So what we can do now is to fill the do get function with the content of our um, web page. First, we're going to say that our response page is an HTML page. So response dot set content type, and then as argument, we pass text HTML. Next, we are going to define the writer. I'm going to call it out.
And then I can use this writer to write something in my HTML document. So here, let's say that I'm just going to print something like h1 hello world. Okay, I save the document and Eclipse is telling me that there is an error. So here this is because there is a, a package that hasn't been imported. So we just double click on an error and then we click on import the print writer. We save the document and now there is no error anymore. So now we can execute the applet. And here we can say choose an existing server, and we're going to use our uh, the server that we have just defined. Click finish, and then for the first time there is always this error. What to do is like to start again. This happened only once, and then we say restart the server, and the second time. It actually works. So here, what it is, it's a browser embedded inside Eclipse. But if you copy this URL address and you go with your browser, you see the exact same result. We have just configured Eclipse to work with Tomcat, and we have our first applet working.